Hello and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 on Hoff Bergman. Right, so I just want to point out that this map now is fully available for general release. So if you go to the link that will be in this video description, it's no longer the beta version. It's been released by Farmer Andy, so you can get your hands on it and download it. Um, so yeah, this is now the full release. It's had a few bug fixes as well from the beta. There was quite a few that were found, small, small finds and stuff like that. So it's all been sorted out now and it's ready to use. I also want to point out as well something that's uh, probably really important to highlight, which is if you're used to Hofburg, when you already know that it always expands over time, but if you're new to it and this is the first time you've ever seen it, this map always just gets bigger and better. It really does. The amount of features that get added in and the updates that happen, it's, a, it's an ever-expanding map through the whole of FS22. This map will be here, expanding, getting updates. And in, in the release, um, Farmer Andy has actually put... The map will be further expanded in the future and this version is not the final version because a map is never really finished. So it's it's great to see that we're going to be getting the same treatment we did for FS19 on this map which is more updates, more features and, and probably things that you'll never see in any other map as well. So, so I do highly recommend downloading it, playing on it, getting used to the map itself but remember as well you might have to start a new save game at some point in the future because a lot of the updates do happen and they are big updates that require a new save. But it's great news that the map is now finally out for general release. So let me just give you an update of where we are on the map. We've obviously done a bit of hay in the last episode and so on, done some lime, been prepping the fields, got a few, a few cows, struggled to find the bull, we found him in the end, and so on. So I'm now at the point where we're going to just be planting in the barley and the wheat. Because of the time of year that we're at, we're going to be doing two fields of barley, um, probably six and five, and then we're going to be doing two fields of wheat in two and three. So I've already planted in the barley. That's not wheat. It's because I mulched from the last harvest. Uh, but you can see that field six is all done. So I've actually planted in. I've rolled as well. But I've also been using uh, the direct seeder and had solid fertilizer in it. So I thought I'd give that a try. So as you can see, with the nitrogen levels are pretty nominal, where we'd expect them to be. And if you look in the precision farming tab at the bottom right there, we can see that perfect Perfect nitrogen, perfect pH, expected yield is going to be in 125%, which is what our potential is. So we've maxed out for loam. Obviously, we're going to have parts of the field, I think maybe up here. As you can see, silty clay, 89%. But on average, it'll balance itself out to have probably a solid 100%, which is what you want. So we're going to carry on now. We're going to try and get all these fields sorted out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this one up as a course plate just because I do actually need to go and do a few other bits and bobs. So I thought, give us a, a little bit of a head start. Um, and I'm thinking I might do, yeah, I'll do two headlands, just because I think it makes it easier. But we'll go to sharp turns, up that to about 10%. And uh, we're going to skip a row, just to make the turns easier on the up and downs. And I think that should be spot on. So there we go. So we can set him going from the first waypoint, which should be nicely just in front of him. So if we have a quick look, there you go. Happy days. I do like now how you don't really need to even tell it the field you're in, direction, all that kind of stuff. Just pretty much set up your course. Course play really is advancing and making it even better. But we're going to let him go. So he should be now planting in barley in that field with... Yeah, he is, with obviously some nitrogen being applied, which again, he is. Not going to be using a scanner because it's completely pointless without, without the crop being there. We're going to see how it performs uh, nitrogen-wise without obviously doing any scanning eventually. If we could go over the field after with a scanner, there's nothing stopping us just going over the field with a scanner when the crop's grown. And it's you know you can see the crop, it's, it's probably midway stage of growth. There's nothing stopping us doing that and then seeing if the nitrogen's changed from what we currently got is telling us this information in the precision farming tab. We could see if it changes and then we could try and maybe change the, the nitrogen levels that way. But I think it's not going to have too much of an impact, really. So we'll leave him to it, and then we'll get him rolling as well. The aim is obviously to get all these four fields done, though, so we need to do quite a bit of work on that. But what I am going to do now is there's a couple of jobs that I want to just try and get done while that's happening, then we might be able to carry on and uh, do some of the planting. Now, I'm trying to th I've been trying to think of the path I want to take on this map. And I know we need another grass field, so I'm going to try and probably buy this field, but it's just going to leave me with hardly any money left. Well, not hardly any, but it's going to be like around 100,000, so we're going to take a hit of about 200,000 to get field 13. But it's the only other grass field that I can see available. I mean, I've been looking at this patch here. Um, 
242 it is actually more money than buying this which is 216 it's going to leave us with about 100 115,000 around that so we're going to take a bit of a hit, hit there but it's going to be worth it because i want to fill the bunker up with silage we need to get some silage done We've got straw that will be coming from this crop We've done some bit of hay but it'd be obviously nice now to do some silage so we're going to try and get that but i'm going to wait for the other field to grow back and we'll do a big silage session put it into the bunker and so on now one other thing i want to do is i'm going to drive to the shop and i'm going to buy myself some fertilizer and some seeds because the direct seeder will probably run out at some point of solid fertilizer so it just makes sense to go and get this sorted out now again i forgot the direction to the shop i keep doing this but i think it's just straight on yes it is I mean, there's no quick way of going that way, so yeah, just straight on. So we'll get this sorted, we'll get some seeds, we'll get some solid fertiliser, and then we can have it there in reserve, and at least we can drive the fence to the side of the field when the when the uh, worker needs to be refilled. Um, and then again, we can always do it as well, because we'll probably try and ourselves to get in the fields, and uh, maybe do two, two of the fields, I think that'd be a good idea. I have got a few other things I want to sell as well, so it's not just going to be this. There's a few things that I need to sell from the allotments, which uh, is a proper manual handling job. There's no way in hell that you're supposed to get a vehicle through them gates. It does actually state in the change logs of the final version, so version 1 of Hof Bergman, uh, that the allotment is pretty much just for relaxed um, like manual work and uh, there's no equipment supposed to be involved in it so if you're thinking why can't i get the sh why can't i get inside the, the gate it's because that's the way it's meant to be it's not supposed to be a high production um kind of activity it's supposed to just be chilled and relaxing so we're going to carry it on now i've got the bicycle set up over there with a few bits and bobs so um we'll see we'll see how uh how we get on because I, I have seen a few pictures as well of people being overwhelmed let's say with the amount of produce that actually comes from them allotments now usually at the shop on half Bergman, they do leave you with some form of vehicle just so you can obviously take a forklift or something when needed but i'm not seeing that currently so that is interesting that might be a first but uh we're gonna need to have something we really are looks like someone's been collecting the collectibles so it looks like there isn't a, uh, a forklift here so what i'm going to quickly do is i'm going to just buy the shop a forklift or something along them lines for us to pick up some big bags or anything like a pallet so we can take it back to the store i think that makes sense uh, because we'd expect a store when we're buying equipment to have that kind of stuff available right so i've just spent fifty-five thousand pound on this reimburse myself the money this is now the shop. When I scroll through my vehicles, it will not appear because of the, the way that I've set it up with the mod. So let's jump back to the vehicle that is actually sitting. I think I might have gone past it. There we go. And uh, we can buy the big bags and anything else we need now. I can use a big bag with it being a forklift, but I might mix it up a little bit and get uh, some pallets just because I know with the base game pallets and a pallet fork, it seems to work perfectly fine. So we're going to try that out. So we're going to need some seeds. I mean, I don't think there's anything else really we'd need. But let's get our seeds in. Yeah, let's get our seeds in. I think it is 4,000 litres enough. I think it should be. We'll get our seeds in pallet version, which is this. But then we're going to get two solid fertiliser big bags. And we're going to keep it obviously within the uh, LSFM mods. So we're going to look for these versions here. They do actually hold more as well. But I think you do get more value for it. So we're going to be looking at solid fur, so it's going to be higher on. You can see how many uh, fertilizer and uh, big bag mods I've got. I've got quite a lot. So here we are. We're looking at the seeds now. That's seeds. And where are you? Mixed pig food. It's going to be right at the end because this is now organized in price. So I might just... There you go. So we've got fertilizer, 2000, another Hofberg and fertilizer. The one included with the map, one included with the mod pack to use on other maps. Um, same price, same volume, 2,000 litres. We're going to get two of them, and I'm hoping that we can actually fit all that on. But there's only one way to find out. So first thing we're going to need to do is unfold this at the back. Now, I think... 
There we go, we can do that. And it has got strapping, which is great news. Turn that off just to save a bit of fuel. Um, and what I'll do is I'll mainly do this without obviously making this pot massive part of the video, but I just want to try, whilst the video's on, lifting up these because I've had such issues with the big bags. And uh, what I imagine it to be is that if you're using the base game ones, it works a treat. That's what I'm hoping for. So that works perfectly. It's not floating about. It's not shaking uncontrollably. It seems to be working just fine. So I'll get these loaded up. Hopefully I can fit it all on. I might have uh, overspent now. Uh, but we can try and stack them up at the back, I guess. But we'll find out. Right, so just about got them on. Um, might have put that one on as well but as you can see these stacked up eventually it was pretty difficult to get the other one on top but when as soon as i got one on that was fine uh, the big bags were fine but the problem was the first forklift that i bought uh, for the shop didn't actually have enough uh, reach vertically to get the bag over there so i've gone with this one which weirdly is actually cheaper but i absolutely love this thing it worked a treat um, so i actually think that could be something that we invest in because i do want to do productions on this map I've been holding off doing many productions because I like the farming side of things, always have. But this map, I think, is going to be perfect to focus on productions. So we are going to be doing that. So we'll get these back. I will park it just next to the field for when the guy in the field needs it. Now, I think he'll get through this first field we've set him on, the second one in total, and he's work on. But I think after that, he might start looking at probably seeds first. Maybe maybe seeds. Uh, but we'll have, a, we'll, we'll have a check. I have turned traffic off because obviously I've got a really well-developed water drive network that uh, the traffic will hinder if we ever use. So it just makes sense to, to keep the traffic turned off. But as you can see, he's doing a pretty good job. He's skipping the rows that we set. Uh, and he's nearly got through his second field. So what we're going to do now is, well, he's doing that. We'll get notifications when he's finished. Um, we have got the roller as well, so we'll be setting the roller up on this field. And then we'll move him over. But while he's doing that, we're going to just quickly run over to my little Nissan truck that you can probably just make out in the distance, which I've loaded up with some uh, produce that we're going to sell. Now, I have loaded up pretty max. Um, I mean, I hope they don't mind lettuce that's... Well, it's on the verge of falling out, let's be honest, but uh, honest, it didn't fall out and I didn't uh, put it back in. Uh, so yeah, this is all sorted in here now. You can see that things are growing quite nicely. Um, I've picked up all the produce that we've made um, and I have put it into the van and I've also stacked up this. Now this, this is pretty heavy for that bicycle. Now I wouldn't like in real life to be lugging that around, but especially if we get to a hill, but we'll see, we'll see how we get on. But what I do want to do is find the best place to sell this. So in here we should have some lettuce and some cauliflower. So if we actually bring up the the, ma the map, we can we can have a look through the menu now of the best place to sell this. So it looks like the the, the basically the best place, the only place is the village shop. Um, lettuce was quite high. It looks like cauliflower is also quite high. Onions are pretty good as well. It just seems like the cucumbers are a lot lower. But then again, we probably get more cucumbers. Hopefully, we'll have a look. We will have a look. So the village shop is where we want to go. I will tag this because making sure I don't do what I did on my Carmsden episode the other day, which is drive to the completely wrong place, but it's pretty much where we've just gone near the shop. So let's head over there now and we'll go and sell this first truckload and then we'll, we'll have to get the bicycle out and drive all the way down. So it's going to be a bit of a jaunt, but luckily this Nissan will, will break some speed limits. Now there is some hidden speed cameras somewhere so don't be surprised if at some point i get a speed speeding fine uh, but we'll find that out i imagine it whoa i imagine it's going to be in the village itself there is a village just this direction but uh i mean if they're out here it'd be nice to know where they are right, so i've slowed down because usually the way they worked before is they were in the back of a, a car parked up kind of caught you out pretty bad right so here we are we're at the shop this is the village shop now we can either take him inside 
Now we can either take him inside or we can have a look for where the trigger is. I imagine the trigger might be inside. So let's have a quick look. Hallo, willkommen im Dorfladen. Yep. Don't know what she said, I'll be honest. She probably said hello. What do you want? But let's just take this in here. Hello, willkommen im Dorfladen. And we'll drop it, I imagine. Now there should be a trigger. You think there'll be a trigger. So if we press F5, I'll be able to find out where this trigger is. So it doesn't look like there is a bit of a trigger there. Hello, willkommen im Dorfladen. Right, so I am struggling to get this in the trigger. Now I have seen people mention this before, and I've also seen people say that it's been fixed as well. So it's interesting to see if this is the trigger. I've tried to find the trigger and it looks like it's just this whole room. Hello, willkommen im Dorfladen. Right, so it seems like I'm, it's a bit of an issue right now with selling produce like this. So the only thing we can do is just throw it inside and hope for the best. And I think the best thing to do right now is go to this, go to our allotments, change, change, which one are we doing here? We are doing onions. We can change to selling, change all these to selling. And then that'll be that job done. We may as well just sell it directly while we're having an issue with it, this. Because, uh, because yeah, it means we're just faffing a little bit less. So let's change this to selling. Change this one to lettuce to selling. Um, and at least we'll be picking up some money from this as well. There we go. Job done. Um, and I'll try and find out why uh, this isn't selling. Now, I have seen some people saying try the door. So we're just going to quickly do that. But we do need to take these out anyway, so I might just plonk them at the back door. Right, so we've sorted all that out at least. A bit of a nightmare that was, in all fairness. Hopefully that gets fixed soon, but uh, in the meantime we'll just sell. Now what I want to do now is I'm actually just going to quickly buy some ducklings. Some ducks and some chicks. Because I completely overlooked this. Um, so we're going to do this. We're going to get some chicks. We'll buy 10 chicks just so we can have a quick look at them. We're also going to buy, I'd say, 10 ducklings. And we're going to buy 10 ducks. Why not? Can't go wrong with a bit of ducks and some chicks. Now, look at the tiny little thing here. There you go, look. Chick. Some ducklings. Because you can hardly tell where the chicks are. You don't want to walk over them. And then there's a couple of ducks over there as well. Um, and then we've got in here some eggs that are starting to slowly form. Uh, the feed is fine, uh, but if we do need to add, give any more feed, we can do. I have actually got a bucket over there that I bought, which I use to fill up the water trough over here. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. You can get ducks, chicks, ducklings. I do like it, but they're, they're all good. I mean, currently we can't really do any of the horses or the uh, the pigs because we just haven't got enough feed to maintain and we could get a couple but I think until we start producing a bit more feed yeah we're pretty stuck right so let's get some more work done I have set the, the guy in the massy doing the rolling in this field I have filled up the cedar with more furt so it's maxed out on furt now and maxed out on the seeds but let's just get this field at least done before I end the episode because in the next episode I really do want to be focusing on something a little bit more productive than this which is we're going to try and do the grapes. We're going to try and harvest them because that's ready to harvest. And we have actually got... Well, we've got until the end of the autumn. So pretty much the last day in October. And if we don't get the grapes harvested by then, they'll have withered. So we definitely need to make sure we focus on that. Now, what I am just going to quickly do is activate GPS for this because I think I don't need to do a headland on this one. I think we can get this in without doing that. Now this is only six meter direct cedar. Um, you can see that we are applying fertilizer as well as is planted in the wheat. We've got two barley fields already done to the left hand side and then we're gonna do these as wheat now. So, because we haven't got any traffic, we don't need to worry about that. There we go. So what we'll do is miss a row. And then 
I think it'll be easier to do it like that with turning. That should be fine. And I think this won't take too long. I mean, they are technically they're not, they're not massive fields. They're big enough, but when you combine them together, it should be a good yield. And then with that, we can start looking at some production things like obviously whole grain and uh, making flour, and then going to bread side of things. I think we've got the right produce that we're making with it being barley and wheat to to, to have a good look at that the production sides and that that direction i haven't really done many production features within fs22 so technically it'll all still be new to me um, but i am interested to see how productive it can actually turn out to be um, and i probably will try and look at i mean i might regret saying this but i might try and look at uh, doing i was trying to think then should i drive over and do this field at the same time but uh, i don't think that'll be a very good idea uh, yeah, I might try and do manual loading with a forklift on the pallets, see how it goes. Um, I might regret saying that and then switch to auto load, but we'll see how it goes. So welcome back. I actually decided to put a bit of a time lapse in there. Uh, you probably noticed that I kind of fell asleep at one point nearly. I just kind of carried on driving um, and then realised. Um, but yeah, um, all this field's sorted out now. Wheat's in the ground. You can see that the roller is set up. He's just here and he's massy. And I've also set up the course to finish off this field. And you can just see him there heading over the, uh, the brow. So all these four fields will be all done. The only thing we'll need to focus on is the weeding when that happens which probably will be straight away as soon as we get the first stage of growth not long after we'll get some weeds so we can go over it and uh, sort that out so thinking about 
what to do next. I think in the next episode, we'll probably be tackling the grapes. Now, there is a lot of them. Who knows if we'll get them all done. We will try and focus on maybe a good patch of them. I haven't also got a very good idea of where to store them because I don't think that this process here, which is process one, will take all the grapes that we harvest from the fields. We might have to tip them on the ground over here because we haven't really got a storage building that I'd say would be very good to drop them in. I mean, we could. We probably don't want to be dropping them in there. Uh, I'd say we shouldn't drop them in there as well. So yeah, it seems like the processing points are going to need... We're going to need a trailer, obviously, to transfer from each area, uh, which we can do quite easily. But I think we might have to just stop and drop. This is compost as well. This is... So we don't... We, in fact, it might not be a good idea to drop that in there. We might have to just literally drop all the grapes in the middle here. It's not ideal, but there isn't really a, an area for me to put them in. So, and as you can see, there is a, a, a massive amount of them. There really is. But we are going to try and tackle this in the next episode. We're going to try and get as much of it done, try and get some of these processes starting, because at the end of the day, it should be good money. In fact, let's have a quick look before I end the episode to see the value of the finished product. So if we go first to production, we start off with grapes, as you can tell. We can get it to distribute, which I think is probably the best bet for us. We can distribute in between the processes. Now, when it gets to step three, we get grape juice. If we want to turn the grape juice into red wine, we obviously go to step four. Uh, but I think we'll store it at that point just to see what the price is and how much we're actually getting. Because we start off with grapes, which isn't bad anyway. But let's just see what grape juice is and the wine just to find out how much of an increase we're actually going to make. So if we go over here, we can start off with having a look at grapes. So highest price, 1,300. We're then going to obviously turn grape juice, and you can see it jumps up to 3,225, which is a massive increase. Uh, you've also got this one here, which is a bit of an increase. So I guess this is the one included with Hof Bergman. And then if we have a look at red wine, well, look at that, 4,647. So I think we should just go all the way out and try and make some wine. I think that should be the best bet, and we'll do that in the next episode, definitely. Um, I think the grass field as well, we will be focusing on that at some point because I want some silage, but I am going to wait until this field here is ready to harvest again, and then we can purchase field 13. I think that makes more sense. So on that note, I am going to leave the video there. So thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you're enjoying the map as well if you're playing it yourself. If you've liked the video, please give it a thumbs up because that does help my channel out. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator.